Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, thanks for checking out another math video here. This one's going to be, again, about the equation of a circle. This is the second video that I've put up about that. But this one is going to deal with converting the standard form equation to the center radius form equation and by the process known as completing the square. All right, so let's, uh, let's get into this. First off, I think it's good to remind ourselves what center radius form is and what it tells us. That's what it looks like, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. It gives us the uh, center coordinates of the circle, h, k, and the radius, r, all right? Um, for example, if we had an equation x minus 8 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 25, we would know that the center of the circle is at the point 8, negative 3, and the radius of the circle is the square root of 25, which is 5. There you go. Standard form, on the other hand, um, is another way to write the equation of a circle, and um, it's it looks a little intimidating, and some people, it's funny, it's called standard form because people don't generally agree on what form to use for standard form. Um, the, it's written either way there, with the x terms grouped together in the first one, or sometimes they're broken up and have the squared terms grouped together, uh, like that second one there. So um, I wouldn't worry too much about that, um, but uh, if it is confusing, all right, uh, let me just say this, that these equation forms here are very, I would say, analogous to the two forms that we use to write quadratic equations. If you remember, there's two ways to write quadratic equations, standard form and vertex form, right? And if you look at those two equations, you see the ax squared plus bx plus c for standard form, and then you see the a times x minus h squared plus k in the vertex form. That h and the k do this, you know, give us very useful information about a specific point on a quadratic function. Just like in our center radius form, we get that specific point, that center of the circle, very important point uh, about the circle, and that's just given, given, us, uh, given to us in the equation. So when you see these, uh, all these different ways to write standard form with the letters, sometimes they use capital letters, it just gets kind of crazy. Don't worry about it so much, all right? Um, let's just take an example and start working with it, and I think you'll, I think you'll have uh, no, no trouble with this. There's an example that we'll use. Okay, so we can all calm down now. We've got some numbers in there instead of a bunch of uh, letters. And let's have a look at this example, okay? Um, now, as I mentioned on the first slide, what we are going to do to convert this um, uh, to center radius form is completing the square. And to complete the square, we use this b over 2 squared number. That's kind of the magic number that makes it all all come together, right? And so for circles, what we're going to do is complete the square twice. We're going to do it once for x and once for y, all right? So that's the difference between completing the square for a quadratic and for a circle. Um, in a circle, the y terms are also squared. So we complete the square twice, once for x and once for y. Okay, so let's try this. Um, remember, you might want to throw in these little uh, spaces there, and don't forget to move that constant term to the other side of the equation. All right? So that's maybe how you might set up that first equation to carry out the process of completing the square, moving the negative 7 over to positive 7 and giving yourself some room, some room to add some numbers. Now, because we're going to do this twice, this b number is going to be, there's two values for it. One of them is positive 4, the other one is negative 10. So for the first one, half of 4 squared is also 4. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. And then if you take negative 10, half of that squared is 25. So we're going to add 25 to both sides. Okay, so now we've got all of that stuff in there, and now we start doing the other, the next step in the completing the square process, which is to factor. All right, so we're going to factor all those x terms. That factors down to x plus 2 squared, and the y terms factor to y minus 5 squared. Now, just as another reminder, um, we get that 2 there and the negative 5 from half of b. All right, it's always half of the original b in the equation. So you don't really have to think about the factoring stuff too, too much. It is pretty mechanical and straightforward, and it always happens the same way. 
The other side of the equation equals 36, so we now, we know uh, we're done, voila, and we know the center coordinates, negative 2, 5, and we know the radius equals 6, and that's great. All right, so we got that information now. Let's try it one more time, a little bit smoother time this time, now that we've done it once. x squared minus 6x, all right, uh, well, let's see, that's going to mean that we're going to have x squared minus 6x plus 9, right? Half of negative 6 squared is positive 9. And the other part there of the equation, the y part, we'll be adding 1. Half of negative 2 squared is positive 1. So um, that negative 1 from the uh, left side moves over to the right side, and we've got plus 9 plus 1 uh, from um, our b over 2 squared. And now we're ready to factor x minus 3 squared and y minus 1 squared. That equals positive 9 over there on the right side. So we know now that the center is 3, 1, and the radius is 3. There you go. It happens pretty quickly. This completing the square, it's a very uh, simple um, uh, way to complete the square. And even though we're doing it twice, it's uh, generally very simple. Let's try one more, all right? And this one may not look that much different, but it is a little bit different. It's actually got some harder numbers in it, okay? The numbers are harder, but that doesn't change the process, right? So uh, they're harder because that negative... Uh, the 3 and the negative 9, they're odd numbers. So when you take half of that and square it, you don't get a nice whole number. That's the only reason they're so-called difficult numbers, okay? So 3 over 2 squared is 2 and a quarter. Uh, negative 9 over 2 squared is 20.25. And so those are the numbers that we will be adding to both sides of the equation. B over 2 squared gives us those decimal numbers there. Okay, so what? Um, so we got x squared plus 3x plus 2.25. And then we have y squared minus 9y plus 20.25. And then when we add all that other stuff there, moving the 13 over, add the same numbers to both sides of the equation there. And now we've got everything spelled out. Yeah, it is kind of a mess, but we're ready to factor now and clean it up. So that first thing factors to x plus, and then remember, that number inside the binomial is just half of b, all right? So it's you don't have to worry about factoring hard-looking expressions like that. Um, the other one gives us negative no, y minus 9 halves, and we simplify the right side down to 9.5. All right, and so we are basically done with the completing the square process, and let's just interpret the equation now, all right? The center of the equation and the radius of the equation. Um, there's our center coordinates, negative 3 halves and 9 halves, which you're welcome to write as decimal values. That's fine. And remember, in the equation uh, is r squared. Right, so you would write the radius as the square root of 9.5, or if you'd like to approximate it, 3.082, that's good also. All right, so that's another example there. It's about as hard as it gets, folks. It's, uh, this isn't such a hard process. Uh, let's just do a quick summary of the process here, and we'll wrap it up. To convert a standard form equation of a circle to a center radius form equation of a circle, we will use the completing the square process. We will use it twice, once for x and once for y. And the resulting equation just gives us right straightforwardly the center and the radius of the circle. And that's it. That's how you do it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll be talking soon. Bye-bye.